We are seeing velocities in the cardiac system of a normal subject. Each pencil shape represents a velocity measurement made by cardiac 4D MRI. The size and color of the pencil indicate the magnitude of the velocity and the direction is also shown. We're going to focus on flow in the right heart. The atrium is in white and the right ventricle is in yellow. We can see flow entering from the bottom through the inferior vena cava and the hepatic veins. The hepatic vein flow wraps around the inferior vena cava causing mixing. Let's fade out the right atrium and now we can see flow from the superior vena cava coming down and mixing with the inferior vena cava flow in the atrium. Now we're going to decimate the velocity field, just not look at as many vectors at, all at once, although the, the actual velocity field is the same, and make it all white. Now we're going to look at vorticity, rotation of each element of fluid. Let's look at just the vorticity in the main vessels of the top of the heart. The pulmonary artery, the aorta, and the superior vena cava. You can see that most of the vorticity is generated around the walls, and that there's not a lot of vorticity in the core of each of the vessel flows. Now let's take a closer look at flow on the right side, starting with the inlet flows during systole of the ventricle, which is actually diastole of the atrium. So here we are seeing where vorticity is generated and the flows leading into the atrium. There's strong vorticity generated around the IVC and from the mixing of the hepatic veins in the IVC. This flow ends up in creating an overall rotation in the atrium. When we look at where the vorticity is, it's both along the wall and has been shed into the interior of the flow. Now let's move forward in time to diastole of the ventricle, where flow is moving from the atrium into the ventricle. If we look at the flow just in the ventricle, we can see strong vorticity in a ring shape. However, a lot of this vorticity is actually on the leaflets of the tricuspid valve between the atrium and the ventricle. Let's turn all the velocity vectors back on. Now we can see that flow is wrapping around the leaflets in only a few locations. In particular, we see no flow around behind the anterior leaflet. And instead, it shows up between the anterior and posterior leaflets. There's also some vorticity seen near the apex. Moving forward in time again to the last portion of diastole, the A wave. Here we can see flow around the leaflets, around all the leaflets, and very little flow in the actual core of the tricuspid jet. 